Well, with the announcement that the Unemployed to Legends series will end at the end of the current season, can we finish on a high by getting Wigan Athletic to survive in their one and, in this series only, season in the Premier League? Stay tuned. Two games coming up against Leicester and Arsenal. Hello and welcome to episode 25 of Unemployed to Legend with Wigan Athletic. My name is Craig and coming up in today's episode, two league games away at Leicester and home against Arsenal as we enter the final stages now of our first season in the Premier League. And if this is something that you're looking forward to, make sure to hit that like button down below and click subscribe for when videos will drop for this series. Uh, since you were last with me, I believe it was at the end of December, yeah, the FA Cup win, it's been dire in the league to be honest. We didn't win for about nine league games, including that loss against Burnley from the last episode. And bar a sole victory, which was a mad 6-3 win over Le uh, sorry, for Southampton, yeah, it's just been terrible. <laughs> it's just been a terrible, terrible run. Which, but until we somehow beat Tottenham 4-2 in the last game, I mean, finally, Ricky J. Jones, as you can see, he started to score. Three goals in the last two games, and he got a hat-trick against Southampton in that crazy 6-3 win. Shobolev finally scoring as well. I believe that's the first time he scored since we beat Sheffield United. Basically, our strikers have been uh, struggling heavily. And this is currently the league table at the moment. We are still obviously in that relegation scrap. We knew this from day one. We knew this, in fact, before day one. Day dot, to be honest. We are struggling, but we're trying to keep our heads above water, or in this case, the relegation zone. 24 points from 24 games and after this next game we'll play the game more than everyone else but to be honest with you I'd rather the position than the games so in this case we'll have less games to do compared to say Newcastle or even Arsenal who are in the relegation battle semi surprisingly I guess nevertheless uh, we now have Leicester in the league and you might notice we are kind of missing someone out on the right hand side of our wing that's because we've picked up a number of injuries. Uh, you won't be able to see them behind my head, actually. Backman's injured, our goalkeeper. Bowler, Mengi are still out with long-term injuries. Skoran has just gone Ill, uh, injured with a thigh strain. He's out for two to four weeks. El Hilali is out for another two days, so he should be back for the Arsenal game, hopefully. Aunt Backman is out for another two days. Again, he's been actually been in goal for us recently, so he should be back for the Arsenal game. Honor, who came on in the last game when El Hilali got injured. He came on, got an assist, he was going to start this game, got injured, naturally. But he's out for another two days, so we'll have three players back, hopefully, by the next game. So, what we've done is we've gone two up front, which we had to do in the last game. And that was where Shobolev actually got his first goal in about three months. So, we'll give it a try today. I'll just go through the starting eleven quickly, don't know why I was rushing through that. Archer in goal, Armini, Canedo, Reese Williams and Johnson as our back four. Davenport and Williams in the midfield, Le Chabla ahead of them in attacking midfield now as a second striker which he which had allowed him to score two goals in the last game so hopefully he can repeat that feat this time round Lang on the left wing and Jones and Shobolev as the strikers up front oh I didn't actually uh, show you did I we did get a new signing in January the only signing Theo Zidane Fernandez as in uh, the son of Zinedine Zidane. I did try and get him in on loan in the summer. He wasn't interested. We are. We went again in January. He was interested this time, probably because he's been shoved to the Real Madrid B team. I don't know if uh, Zinedine Zidane is still manager. No, he's not. That kind of explains everything. So we managed to get Theo in an attacking midfielder, kind of a backup to Le Chabla, but also he can play there in case we play Le Chabla on the wings. Oh, actually, Le Chabla can play on the wing. Le Chabla can actually play on the wing, so I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. One moment. Do you know what? I decided against it. I realised, let's just go with what we decided to do already. So we're going to stay with that attacking midfielder where Le Chabla will play and two strikers up front. I think that makes the most sense. As we get the big match intros here, we must be on the telly. Then again, every game in the Premier League is pretty much on the telly, isn't it? That's how we've been in profit this season. Leicester versus Wigan. Now, what you're more than likely going to see is an inept defence on our part because our defence is inept. 
and <laughs> is not Premier League quality. I'm hoping we can actually have. Oh, there you go. Wow, 23 seconds, and they proved me correct. We did beat Leicester early in the season, funny enough, but that was at home. We're playing them at their grounds, as yeah, they just carved us open. James Madison, unfortunately. For goodness sake, it's only been one minute and this is the second highlight. Is this game determined to just really rub it in? Shobolev, who is playing as a deep line forwards, which will be an interesting role for him. Apparently he can play everywhere and unfortunately, um, Ricky J. Jones. McGregor? <laughs> we don't have a McGregor. Ricky J. Jones couldn't get on that, but we thankfully win the ball back and there is Jones. Oh, hit the, uh, did I hit the post? I'm not even sure. But regardless, I know that the end of this season is going to be very, very tough. I mean, we just drew and lost like nine games in a row. Our first win in ten, but that's going to be very, very scarce. And I was thinking to myself as well, I'll be amazed if we actually do stay up. And there is... it's just ghosts! Our team does not make tackles. Instead, teams just ghost through us. I feel like since the winter update, tackles are very, very rare. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this. Or if it's just my team being defensively rubbish, but we just can't seem to put tackles in. And I've got to get stuck in on. I've actually got that on. But it makes no difference whatsoever. And the long throw didn't quite work there, but Johnson has the ball back here. Oh, come on! Really? And, oh, there was a tackle, but it did nothing. Oh my god, 19 minutes and it's 3-0. Wow, even even for this side, it's this is pathetic. Because Johnson has basically been exposed, so what we're going to have to do... I really don't want to take off Shobolev this early. Oh, I might have got it wrong on this one, but... Wow, we're playing a Leicester side who are very high up the league. That's the problem. I decided just to come back for this game, by the way, because I knew it was either come back here or come back in March where it was going to be difficult enough as it is. Oh, we have a goal back. It's going to be difficult uh, leaving it the longer than it is because, to be honest with you, I, I do kind of just want to get content out, not just because of that reason, but also just want to show you exactly what Jekyll and Hyde team we have here. We have a team who can score, but we have a team who can't defend. It's a question of each game, can we score more than we actually uh, concede? I know that sounds obvious, but it is exactly like that, and it doesn't help. We're, we're giving so it's weight. This is a goal, guaranteed. Yep. Hat-trick for James Madison. That is absolutely pathetic. But what do you do in this situation? We can't drop the line because then we're just inviting them onto us. But this could get very, very embarrassing very quickly. And for anyone who might have seen my last video, which was on Saturday, about the update of this channel, to be honest with you, uh, this is going to be the last season of Unemployed to Legend. The save will still be there, but whether we'll actually go back to it or not is up for debate. And that's purely because of the time constraints I have in my life at the moment. Expect to see something better. I don't know how much better it's going to be in the second half, but I expect to see better. I mean, at 0.87, yeah, we deserved our goal, but my goodness. We've just not been in this at all. The sad part is we've got Arsenal in the next game, and then we've got two straight games against Man City at their grounds. One in the league, one in the cup. And they're saying to bring McEachern on. What's the difference? Oh, for goodness sake. That doesn't help as well. And every time a team goes forward, yeah, every time a team goes forward against us, it's a goal, because in the Premier League, teams have bullet-like aims. Vardy getting his goal. We're not helping ourselves with sloppy passing. You know what, just bring McEachern on. We're not helping ourselves with sloppy passing. Oh, for goodness sake, stop this. Just stop it, game. At this point, just allow it. I know that's what football is in real life, if you feel down. 
you get kicked like you are down, like you are kicked hard in the groin. Oh, this game is fun. Fun, fun, fun. Right. Sub time. Shoblev has done nothing. You know what? We might as well just see what Theo can do. Shoblev is going to come off for Theo. Ricky J. Jones can play as the sole striker instead. Davenport's already come off, and we well, might as well wait. Might as well wait another 5 to 10 minutes for the next sub. Johnson, long throw. Let's get some positivity back in here in the keeper. Oh, Theo could have had a debut goal inside, what, 5 minutes? To be honest, there's really nothing else we can do at this stage. Uh, Matty Pearson may as well come on. He's more motivated than Naginda. And Naginda, by the way, he's actually leaving in the summer. He's been approached on a free transfer because his contract's up in the summer. He's gone. He's a, he's a League One player. He served us well, but he's just a League One quality player. He's never going to make it in the Premier League. I mean, he could play in the Championship if we go down there, but based on that performance, that could be the reality. 13 games to go. Next up, easy game. It's only Arsenal. <laughs> oh, we need a better performance. Second game now against Arsenal. I honestly don't know what to expect from this game. But there have been a few changes. Uh, firstly, in fact, actually, I've just realised Backman is back, isn't he? So he can go on the bench and Archer can swap with him. So we've now got Backman in goal. Central defenders have also changed. Canedo will stay in, but Johnson will join him in central defence. I'm going to give Reese Williams a break. He's not had a good few games. I don't know how much importance really is put on the average ratings. I heard that they're quite... Uh, difficult to figure out in FM21 so we're going to go with Canedo and Johnson at centre back with Naginda at right back and Theo will come in and make his start, first start for us in attacking midfield with Le Chabla on the right wing I'm just hoping for a better performance from this game we're up against an Arsenal side who are also mid-table with us they're also in a relegation scrap which is like I said in the last game, semi standable slash semi surprising. Yeah, we owe Arsenal after the last game. They did beat us, albeit with 10 men, but like I said, this is a very, very messed up Arsenal side at times. By the looks of it, it's a very different Arsenal side as well from the one in real life, but then, in regardless of if it's FIFA or FM, Arsenal's team always tends to change very quickly. For example, they've got Saliba in defence. Right, let's just see. Can we actually produce a better performance? I, I don't even know anymore. I honestly don't know what sort of performance to expect from these guys. It's so Jekyll and Hyde. I know I've said this already, but what else can I say about this team? The Shabala just gets the ball forward, drives forward very well, but unfortunately, nothing going. Um, Arsenal just block it off. Canedo into Davenport. Still a surprise of the season. It's a joke. What a ball, by the way. And straight into the hands of the Ars of Arsenal's keeper. Jones. Plays it over to Lang on the left-hand side. It's the fact that the highlight has just started this far up. Ooh, is that a penalty? Ooh, very tight call. Referee's just checking with VAR. Yep, yeah, just checking, just checking, just checking, just checking, just checking. Penalty awarded. And I believe it's going to be Lang who will take it. He took our last penalty. And to be honest with you, I haven't set the penalty takers for such a long time. 1-0 to the Arsenal after 14 minutes. Callum Lang, only his fifth goal of the season. Not bad for a player who is championship calibre at the end of the day. But you know, we've got to take the goals where we can. For such a long time, we've just not been able to score. We really, really, really haven't. We can see that will, but we just can't score very often. Lang has broken forward here and shoots straight at the goalkeeper, naturally. I did say in the last game, I honestly don't know where we're going to be able to pick up the wins from. But you never know. If we pick up enough wins, we survive. I know that it sounds very obvious. It's just getting these points on the board. 40 points is still the aim for us this season. And I believe 40 points could possibly see you sort of lower mid-table. But heck, if you offered me 17th place right now, I'll take it, to be honest with you. Oh, just saved there by Backman. Look. Arsenal just driving right through our midfield there, and Theo wins the ball there. And, well, the ball will stay in. But I would like to see us just sort of advancing, maybe pressing a little bit more, but clearly, 
Uh, that's not something that's a great strength of ours, despite the fact that it said on my manager profile, I'm a Gagan Press user. But I don't know where that's come from. And thankfully, uh, Pepe is shot wide. It's just nervy watching um, this team at the moment. Oh my god, can you... He just bounces around between everyone. Just over there, but I, I get really scared when the ball just bounces between players in our own penalty area. Come on, lads, get the ball up the other end and let's score a second. He says, and this team has barely been able to score more than one goal in very many games this season. I'm still shocked we scored six against Southampton. We scored four against Tottenham. I don't know. I didn't I didn't do a gesture on that one. That was a mistake, but thankfully they still inspired. You never know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. What else can I say? The aim is just to keep them as inspired as possible. After that last game against Leicester, um, the dressing room atmosphere naturally just came down a little bit. Of course it did. Why wouldn't it? Oh, saved! And Backman, Backman, he saved that and pushed it right back out into the penalty area. We'll make a substitution after this highlight. Because Lang is looking very, very tired now. Armini. He's a good player to have, is Armini. Absolutely love the man, to be honest with you. Lang, he's tired, so he's the one who's going to come off. More than likely, Honor is going to come on. He's back. Oh, just kept hold of the ball there. Williams into Jones, into Le Chabler. Just have a shot, man. Into Naginda, into Jones, and Jones has scored his eighth goal of the season. Naginda with the assist. I am going to miss the Ginter at the end of the season. I mean, I, like I've said, the series is ending, so it doesn't really matter. But he served us well since joining us all the way back in League One. That's the thing you have to remember. He joined us in League One. And, and yes, just like Lang, he was with us in League One as well. But here's someone who I've absolutely enjoyed. In fact, I forgot El Hilali is back. The Shabala can play on the left. Yeah, he can. He can play on the left, so you know what, we're going to move him there. And we're going to bring El Hilali on. Just to give him some game time. Him and Jones do play well up front together. Hopefully that will bear fruit as well today. And I, you know what, I need to turn off long throws. <laughs> I've done it. I've done mixed throws on the left hand side. I'm still doing long throws on the right because I know Johnson can throw it pretty much to the moon and back. El Hilali just over. I thought I went in when I saw this graphic at the bottom coming up, but nevertheless, we go again. One thing I've noticed, we're not very good at marking, but then that's, I know that's like the obvious statement in the world, considering we can see goals for fun. And thankfully the Shabala picks up the cleared ball and Jones is away here. His pace is causing trouble and that is 3-0. Leno in absolutely poor position in there. Questions over their keeper, but I do not care. Jones with his ninth of the season. 3-0 Wigan against Arsenal. I said I don't know what to expect from this game. I stand by that. Because at the end of the day, like I said, this team, when they turn up, they can do well. Sorry, I realised I did skip that, but to be honest with you, you can just pause and go back and watch it. Oh, that just bobbled in, and I think that was an own goal. Yeah, Nagin oh, Naginda with her own goal. Did I say I was going to miss him? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, that's... Ah, uh, see, now, was that ball going wide? Was that ball going wide? Questions there. Joe Williams is tired. McEachern is going to come on for him. And we've got one more substitute, and that is Le Chabala, who is tired. So, Honor is going to come on for the last few minutes. This is the problem. Look. What? That's surely offside. Yeah, I was going to say, Gabriel was offside there. No one was marking him, which was... <laughs> but... Thankfully, he should be offside for that one. Come on, ref. Yeah, goal disallowed. Thank goodness. Right. Why is there always five minutes? Why is there always five minutes injury time? Like, I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's always five minutes. Regardless, we have, as I'm going to say, hold, held on. The XG for both teams was very, very high, but we're the ones who took our chances. Hallelujah. I've been saying the complete opposite for the majority of this season. 
but that is a priceless three points. That gives us 27 from 26, as you can see, the league table. Uh, it's really difficult to gauge where we are because other teams around us all have games in hand. Arsenal have two games in hand on us, for example, but they're three points behind. If they stay around in the relegation battle for the rest of the season, well, I'm not going to complain. That just puts more teams between us and the bottom three. We will be back in April, more than likely around these games. Uh, it'll be a combination of any of these two games and amazingly enough they're all teams in or around us in the league whether that'll still be the case come April we'll have to wait and see but we'll be back for the run in hopefully we can secure survival maybe in the next episode depends it honestly depends I've got two games against Man City to get through first and just hope and pray <laughs> that our morale isn't destroyed too much if you've enjoyed this video remember to hit the like button and click subscribe for more Unemployed to Legend videos, especially as the series is now coming to an end. There should be another, I think, two or three episodes before the end of the season. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next video.